Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our GA4 series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll see how to set up GA4 tracking for a lead generation site. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll be using this site for setting up GA4 tracking, you know. So if I go to the contact us page, then you will see a form available here. So whenever a user submit this form, I want to track this as a uh, conversion, you know, as a GA4 conversion. So first of all, I need to go to this website admin panel because I need to put Google Tag Manager code. By the way, I have set up a Google Tag Manager for this website you can see over here analytical growth web you know and i have also created a google analytics for property so first of all i'll go to the admin panel of this site so as you know this is a wordpress cms so for going to the admin panel i just need to enter my website url over here then i will write slash wp minus admin okay perfect we are in the admin panel of our site then we need to go to the plugin section because I want to install a plugin by which I will put Google Tag Manager code. So I'll go to the plugin section and click on add new plugin. Then I'm going to search for a plugin called insert header footer. So this one WP code insert header and footer. So I have already installed this plugin. I would suggest you to install this plugin from here. Okay. So if I go to the code snippet section, I will be able to see header and footer section. So I'm going to click on this. Then we can see we need to put Google Tag Manager code in the header and body portion. So I'll go to the Google Tag Manager and click on this. Then we will be able to see our header code and body code over here. So I'm going to copy the header code from here and paste it in the header section. And I'll go to the Tag Manager again and copy body code from here and paste it in the body section so i'm gonna click on save changes okay so google tag manager has been installed on our website properly so for checking whether it is working or not okay i'll uh, click on preview section okay then i need to copy the website url because i need to put it in the tag assistant section so i'm going to enter my website url and click on connect so you can see over here tag assistant connected okay perfect so let's do the rest stops okay so if i go to the tag manager then i will go to the variable sections okay I need to enable some built-in variables. So I'll click on configure. And if I scroll down a little bit, so from the click section, I will enable these variables, okay? So I'm gonna enable click element, click classes, click ID, click target, click URL, click text. And from the form section, I will enable form element, form classes, form ID, form target, form URL. And last one will be form text, okay? Perfect. Then we'll go to the trigger section. So as I told you, whenever a user go to our contact us page and fill up this lead form and to track this as a conversion. So this will be our trigger. Okay. So I'll go to the trigger section and click on new and name the trigger as lead form trigger. Okay. So I'll click on tag configuration. So for the time being, I will keep it as all elements, okay? So I'm gonna click on save. Then if I go to the preview section, so I'll go to the preview section again. And I need to put my website URL over here. So I'm going to copy it from here again and paste it over here. Okay, perfect. I'll click on connect. 
Okay, then I'll go to the contact us page. And I'm going to submit a form here, like I need to uh, give my name over here. Okay, and I'll write analytical group. Email, this one, phone number, this one, subject, test, message, test form. Okay, so I'm going to click on send request. It is showing sending, okay. So the form has been submitted. So if I go to the Google Tag Manager again and click on these clicks and go to the variable section, then you can see you can either uh, set up this trigger using click classes. So if I copy this and put in the click classes, then the trigger will be fired. Then I have a click ID, so I'm gonna uh, do it using click ID because this is unique. So I'm going to copy it from here and go to the tag manager and edit this trigger, you know. So I'll click on this and I'll click on click element and I'll make it some clicks and I'll choose click ID from here and I'll choose equals from here and I'll paste the click ID over here that I have copied from here. You can see over here, okay? Click ID. So you could have used click classes. So if I uh, used click classes, then what I need to do, I need to go to the uh, click element and some clicks, then I need to go to the click classes. Then I will go to here, then copy this WP form submit and go to the tag manager, click, classes equals uh, this value you know so you can use click classes or click ids or even you can use form classes or form ids okay so it's up to you which one you want to use so for the time being i'll be using a uh, click id okay so i'm gonna click on save okay perfect our trigger has been created so i'll go to the tag section so the first tag I will create is for GA4 base tag. So I'll write GA4 base tag. Okay. So I'll click on tag configuration and I'm going to choose the first one from here. Google Analytics GA4 configuration. So I need to put a measurement ID over here. So I'll go to the analytics and click on admin. Okay. Then I will go to the data stream section and click this data stream analytical web. So you can see our measurement ID is available here. So I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in the measurement ID section. Okay, perfect. Then I'll go to the triggering section and I will choose all pages from here. So I'm going to click on save. Okay. Then the next tag I'm going to be creating is for GA4 lead form okay j4 lead form submission so i'll choose tag configuration as google analytics j4 event okay and i'll select configuration tag as j4 base tag and i will name this event as generate lead generate underscore lead okay so if you want, you can give even parameter. So for the time being, I will not be giving any even parameter. So in the triggering section, I will choose lead form triggers. Okay. So I'll click on save. Perfect. Then we'll uh, go to the preview section for checking whether everything is working fine or not. So I'll click on preview. So I'm going to submit the tag and after submitting, then I will click on preview again. Okay. You go to the workspace and click on preview.
So I need to put my website URL. So I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in the tag assistant section. So I'm going to click on connect. So I'll go to the contact us page and fill up a form. Okay. So the file name, analytical growth, email, this one, phone number, this one, subject, test, message, test, request. Okay. So I'm going to click on send request. Okay. So you can see over here, thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. The So our form has been submitted. So if I go to the uh, Google Tag Manager section, then you can see GA4 lead form submission is firing. Okay. So, and GA4 base tag is also firing. So, yeah, it is working perfectly. So, hopefully, you have a clear understanding on how we can set up GA4 tracking for a uh, lead generation site. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. Okay. You have a good day. Bye bye.